Good morning and welcome to Utopia Farms. It feels pretty warm today. Next week I think we're supposed to go into a deep freeze, but uh, today's feeling pretty good. Hopefully things will melt up a bit. So let's hope that it's as nice inside the barn as outside as we step inside and see what today brings for us. Today we'll feed Jerry from the box so I can have a better look at what's going on in this pen today. Hi buddies. Hi. Jerry, are you a little bit hungry? There you go. There you go, buddy. Okay. I see a lot of curious little lambs. Hi guys. How you doing today? Is that your favorite spot? Hi. Hi. So we got one, two, three, four there. We got Giselle with her birds on still. And Jer, uh, Jer, not Giselle, why do I? I had a lamb a few years ago called Giselle, a white one. Jezebel. And here's another one just joined us. So now we got five here. Oh, and here's a sixth coming out. And I see two back there under the feeder. Nobody's crying. Nobody's looking like they're under any kind of stress. Hi guys. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hi. 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 You're done, Jerry. You're done. <laughs> there. We're going to look at the little guys now, okay? We're going to look at these little guys. Hi. Hi. Well, the ones in this pen look good, so now we're going to go check out all the jugs. Hi. Hi, Jezebel. Hi. Come here. We should take those birds off. We should take those off. Because they're nasty. They're nasty. Okay, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's a little, <laughs> a little tough. He's a little tough. Oh, there's actually three lambs in the under the feeder over there. Hi, you're the big guy, aren't you? You're the big fella. You're the big fella. Yeah, you like to be with your mom, don't you? Oh, there's one running with its mom. So these are the two big females. They all look great. I, I was looking for the scale, but I couldn't find it, so I'll have to get Ernie to find it so I can weigh those two. Because I know someone's bound to ask. Where is the scale? This is our you? Yeah. Did we breed this here? Yes. This is our genetics? That's right. Why? And the father was our genetics too? No, the father was uh, Jordan. No. Oh, of those. Yeah, these, uh, yes. The, fa the father and mother of these lambs are ours. I love it. Honestly, don't tell me that that's not a couple of nice lambs. Yeah, they're, they're the best, best two so far. Their own genetics. Yep. And they're right up on their little tippy toes. Look at the spread in this little guy's feet already. Look at, the, look at the tippy toes. Look at that. Good posture, good, posture, good color too. Nice and black. black. We like to see them black. They got the bell ear on them already. I like that they're right on their tippy toes. Yeah, good on the feet. Yeah. But um, I'd like to get a... We're, I couldn't find our little scale and sling to, to weigh these two. Yeah. Because uh, we, we basically don't weigh, weigh lambs. Um, we all weigh like the big ones like this. Uh, because these are going to be the ones that will, as long as everything goes well as in their development, these will be the ones you end up using for breeding stock. So these are the ones that you want to uh, keep complete records on. To be honest, lambs that are born little or weak or scrawny will never amount to 
too much. So we focus on the best because we're looking uh, for the best all the time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here's a third one. <laughs> you guys are so pretty. You are so pretty. And you've got a most beautiful mom, too. And to be honest, your mom is, your dad's beautiful too, Geronimo. Hey, buddy. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't be so good in your feet like that. Yeah. Oh, you're so, you're so lovely. You're Can't so wait. lovely. Can't wait to give it a uh, uh, Where is the scale? I don't know. I have you, to find it. You have to find Maybe it. Maybe right there is one there. Right there. Hanging up there. Okay. Well, we're going to put uh, these guys back because we know this pen is doing fantastic. Uh, even though they're the youngest. And we're going to go check on the ones that weren't <laughs> doing too well yesterday. You want to see your mom? No, ladies. Oh, that's about <laughs> 20, 20 pounds. 20 pounds. <laughs> 20, 20 pounds together or more. That's all I want. Yeah. I don't want triplets. I don't want monster sheep. Just regular steady sheep. <laughs> so we got to try to check this one now. You want to grab this one? Not really. Well, that's not what you said in the bedroom. You said you wanted to talk about this sheep. Oh, really? That's right. Maybe that was just pillow talk. So, um, you may have noticed, like our Suffolk are <laughs> producing a lot of twins, and you may have noticed that uh, the Dorsets. Uh, through a lot of singles and as as they start lambing you'll see more twins as they get in season but when they lamb out of season which uh, our fall lambs were you will naturally tend to have um, less lambs at that time of year and I'm guessing it's because uh, nature doesn't want them to have uh, lambs then because uh, because the chance of survival in the winter would be lower so nature wants them to survive so you'll have more uh, lambs in the spring. Okay, so, what I look. So she looks. She looks like a Dorset. You can see that. Look at the head. And uh, she is our breeding too. Yeah. So it's a Dorset, and if you look at this leg when it's born already, look, it has the woolly legs already. And it's, al and it's already got the woolly head. Not the woolly head, the woolly pole. Yeah, and look at the ears are already. Uh, uh, that's right. So, and this this lamb is a big one too. Um, but what do you notice the difference when you lift him up compared to those Suffix? I know. I know what well, I, I was guessing. I was guessing Suffix are a little more meatier, but uh, this is this one's framier. But that's that's a they're they're meat. Yes. Yeah, because I, I noticed that too. Like like this is a really big, really nice, really nice ram. It's another one we'll keep an eye on. But deep. but the difference is when you pick up those suffix up, you, you can't explain it, but they, they feel solid. Whereas uh, the dorsets do feel a little more um, like a bird, like a little more um, lighter boned, maybe it is. But uh, this is, he's a really nice boy. Look, how, look at this guy here. He's a young age. So you look at him. But look how deep that, see this here part? Yeah. Look, look at the, the strength. Of, That's then, the de deepness of his uh, chest. And you want to see then, that in any then breed. Then look at the rump. See? <laughs> a dorset, a dorset, a dorset should at least look like a dorset. We're, and we've told you before, like, uh, we've got, we've, the problem with dorsets in our country and probably in lots of countries is that, uh, we're in, importing breeding stock from many other countries, New Zealand, Australia, Canada, the UK, and everyone has their, it seems, breed standard or lack thereof. And um, we prefer the look of the UK uh, dorsets the best with the short woolly ears that are uh, pointing up uh, words at a, like a 45 degree angle. I'm not seeing that in the Australian or New Zealand sheep, so uh, we're working hard, hard to breed the UK face and body look into our sheep, but it, it's a long struggle because we do have lots of Australian and New Zealand bloodlines in our sheep because uh, 
the Australian and New Zealand sheep are much bigger, and in North America we like bigger sheep. So, so this little lamb. This is the guy. Was born without us. We weren't here. She dropped and it off in the yeah, middle, but so his lungs are a little rough, a little uh, raspy. Yeah. So I'm going to think that he might have had a little bit of a bad birth. I'm going to give him a shot of drugs. Sure. Because I don't like the sound of the lungs. And well, maybe that's why he's not doing that well. Well, but. he had um, <laughs> he had the leaky umbilical cord. Is it dried up now? Yeah. But his lungs, uh, you can listen to him. He doesn't sound 100% with his lungs. So well, we a bit this is the you who re wanted to reject him. So he was just dropped. You saw him yesterday. He was just dropped in a petal of puddle of afterbirth. And uh, even with a mom who stays with the lamb, sometimes if um, she doesn't wash the nose off quickly enough or the mouth, that's why you see me with Tal saying, I'm going to leave it alone, but I'm going to quickly go in first and wipe off its nose and mouth. It's because um, even the smallest amount of... Um, liquid going into their lungs can um, make them a little raspy and because he was laying there he probably just did breathe a little bit in mom because she ran off but she's with him now his head's up and stuff hi sweetheart and i'm gonna feel his mouth his mouth is warm hi baby did you see him nurse? Yep. He's not. He's definitely not. Uh, he's, he's been nursing, so. <laughs> so, yeah. Lambs that have a rough start, eh? Sometimes it's the mother. Sometimes it's the lamb. Sometimes it's the environment. Uh, lots of things can affect a bad birth. So, but you see, she... The cat's here, buddy. And she's not taking her eyes off him, so she's, um, we had, uh, I think it was the dog ran by her the, a few minutes ago, and she almost took the uh, pen apart wanting to hit it. So she's definitely, uh, you're definitely looking after your lamb, aren't you? So at least she loves him. That's, uh, that's most of the battle. It's actually a beautifully warm day today, above freezing. Hopefully that ice will melt today. Um, but uh, with the heat comes the smelly bedding pack. So we're giving the lambs some clean straw again. And then hopefully if we can get organized and nobody's lambing and delaying us, we're going to vaccinate some more sheep in preparation for lambing with their Glenback 6 shots. And then uh, again this week hopefully uh, we're going to uh, take all these ewes off the lambs. Still icy out here, but it's soft enough that they are able to break the ice and get a little bit of traction, I think. Hey, you like it out here, don't you? There's the 244s. Why would you eat that, buddy? Not something that's edible. I'm gonna head in for lunch now and we'll come back later. I just wanted to show you Jerry and Jezebel here with their mom. Looking really cozy. It's actually called uh, disorder disorder disease. They're gonna bolt. Look at him. Who lays like that? Jerry does. That's Jerry. So we're, we just vaccinated uh, Honey slash Hitman's group. We're waiting to bring him across, but we have to tie him up because somehow we got to get him across the yard while we vaccinate the other sheep too. He has to be in, tied up so he doesn't get away on us. Okay, we've got the two groups that we wanted to vaccinate done, but now we got to take the rams out of all the groups and that's quite a difficult job. We got two rams. We gotta get this big guy general out. And then we gotta get Snappy out and Hannibal and then somehow walk all the rams across the yard without getting hit. 
Right, Katie? Okay, so Hannibal we had to get out by lifting him into the feeder. He's never been on a halter before, so. And we got Snappy here, who's very well behaved. Which one, Snappy? Hey, Hannibal. You're on YouTube, bringing a ram down a feeder. This is ram management. Hey, Hanny. Hey, Hanny. We, we didn't know where General was, and then we looked closely. Oh, I don't know if you saw that. General, honey. We're going to get you out in a minute. You were on top of the hill. It was such a good picture. Such a good picture, sweetheart. That was clever beyond belief. General's very upset because he's on his own for a second here right now. All his ewes were taken away and we're trying to gather. Hey, 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 calm down. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right, buddy. We're going to have you back with friends in a minute. They're laying out flat. We're going to put them back in their original group right now because we took the rams out. Couldn't videotape it. It's too action-packed. I can't do that in videotape. But to suffice it to say, they're in uh, their quarantine group. Their anti-fighting boxed-up group. These guys are just mellowing out in the keeper you pen for the afternoon while we're doing all this. And obviously found, found that quite relaxing as they're all pretty chill. Tomorrow we'll probably vaccinate the rest, rest of the sheep and then we're done for the year on that type of stuff. And then we'll be sorting the ewes apart and sorting the rams out. Hey, 44. 44. You're very pretty. What do you think, guys? Quite a quite a table in your and pen. Replacement use while we were doing all that. They went outside. These ram lambs moved to their pen, and then uh, we cycled them through the chutes here from the other barns over to this barn. Hi, guys. Hi. So we'll say good night and hope that you guys all join us again tomorrow for another episode at Utopia Farms. Good night, everyone.